Hi guys, welcome to the second video for this run through for the Rise of the Red Skull. Uh, just about to do the campaign against Absorbing Man next. Seems like quite a simple setup. I'm not sure how hard he's going to be, but the last one was really tricky. So hopefully this time we'll have a better go at it. Um, please leave a like if you like this video and comment down below how you fared and how you did in the second stage. It took me three or four attempts to beat level one, uh, kept getting beaten by cards. So hopefully this one isn't as hard. Um, and if you like what we're doing on the channel, please subscribe to the channel, it really helps. So let's get this one to the table and play this one out. So we're on to level 2, the scenario 2, the Absorbing Man. Um, as the dust settles at the Project Pegasus, you uh, have Miss Marvel uh, giving him a mighty whack. Give up crossbones, game's over. Uh, you fools, I never wanted the tech. I just needed to give Madam Hydra time to make off with the stone. And then as you're driving off on the bike here and Hulk back there with Captain America, he says, and now I'm here to cover her escape. So Absorbing Man has popped up to try and block off your attempts to chase down Madame Hydra. One thing I find a bit weird in this is that there's no pictures of Spider-Woman or Hawkeye, even though they're the two characters that come in the box. So this is a bit odd that it's Miss Marvel there and then Hulk and Captain America. Maybe they assume they're the characters you're going to play, but a little bit weird, I think. Um, and then this seems quite quite a simple setup. You've just got the Absorbing Man with his side scheme and then a Hydra for Soul set in the standard set. And if you get victory in this, you get to write down some stuff and take some basic condition upgrades in the campaign set. So that should be nice. And I've accidentally had a look at them before. So let's get on with this and then we will move on to the nice double page there of comic -y goodness. So let's get this one on. I've got it pretty much set up and ready. Just need to reset the camera. Okay, so the setup is already done. Absorbing Man has got 28 health to start with. Uh, he does two attack, which is a little bit more than last time. We've got some extra stuff here. So we get to uh, discard this card and remove it from the campaign log and search your deck and discard power for an ally and put that into play and then give it a tough status card. So we can take pretty much any ally we want. We've got Black Knight in there. We've got um, Mockingbird, who's quite good, constantly coming out and in and out and doing damage. We've got Goliath, who does plus four attack until the end of the phase. So if we can get any good cards where we can get him um, done, then he can be good. But he goes, he's only lasts for one stage, so he'd have five attack. If we can give him some boost or use him twice, he could get ten damage done, which would be quite nice. Um, and then we've got uh, War Machine, who basic attack gains ranged could be useful uh, doesn't then take any retaliation um, and then got upgrades there so there's not a lot of allies in this deck actually I don't think and the other one is Hawkeye so I think it's either between War Machine if you get a good amount of damage you'll get at least six damage in and you're gonna do get no retaliation if that's one of the things in this set but I don't know yet you get guaranteed five damage He's not War Machine, so we're going to get six. So we might as well get him out, maybe. War Machine with a tough status card on him. So that's a nice bonus for this level. And then I'll shuffle these back up to make sure there's nothing on there. And then the other one for Spider Woman that I've got is discard this card and remove it from the campaign log. Deal five damage to the villain and each enemy engaged with you. So we haven't got that done yet, but. I need to just set up the deck and see if there's anyone coming out. Uh, it says, for this we have to shuffle the encounter, oh, we have to discard cards from the encounter deck until an environment comes out. Um, then we use that environment to help put into play and then shuffle the rest. So we've got treachery, we've got treachery, we've got another treachery environment the abandoned facility so that comes out it says again surge but obviously we don't give it surge at the start it says surge keyword only triggers when the card appears on its reveal not other setup so it doesn't get a surge um the forced response is after absorbing man makes an undefe undefended attack against you discard one resource icon from your hand two instead if there are five or more delay counters on the main scheme so this flips over after resolving step one of the villain phase, 
you place one delay counter here. So step one is where you put your um, threat on. So threat is going to be also a delay. So we'll put a green counter on there instead of a red one maybe. Got more of the red damage tokens and see how we can do. Um, the more of those that get on there, the more things we have to then discard when he makes an undefended attack against me. So let's we'll start off with the two so a two per person, so there's four starting on there. It can only get to 24 if it does, it's game over. So we need to be careful. And this time I'm going to start with Spider Woman as being the first one. We've got Cable Arrow, Hawkeye's Quiver, Team Training twice, Power of the Leader with the double resource on it. Um, Goliath also quite strong, but we haven't got his bow yet. But uh, it's on the wrong side, he should be in this side. So we'll get to get the bow out in a second anyway when we want to. This can go, so he gets 5 damage for that. And that goes away, so he's going to go down to 23 damage straight away. Which is a nice little start for us. And then Jessica Drew is going to get 6 cards, so she's going to get Inconspicuous, Self-Propelled, Glide, Venom Blast for 5 damage, Piercing Strike for 3 damage, and Pierce is tough. Uh, an upgrade for the Exhausted skill for once the side scheme is defeated and then we've got that twice so at the minute there's no side schemes out so that might not be a great thing to have um re-readying the hero is quite good because we can get two attack on her and do a do that twice so i'm going to definitely get rid of these two inconspicuous thwarts three from the main scheme um which is quite good because there's four on there already so we might want that piercing strike for three damage in case you get the toughness card might be useful but right now it's not essential um i might want to re-ready it i might want to get rid of some threat i might want to deal five damage I'll get rid of those three for her so i got pheromones which gives you the stun and confuse on the enemy attack team that does three damage and spider girl after you space spider girl from your hand you stun and confuse a minion so it can only be a minion that i just read there so that's not ideal but i want to do the two pheromone Definitely try and get that done. So I'm going to struggle to get Spider Girl out, I think. I'm also going to struggle to get Tag Team out because it costs a lot. Um, but if I play those two to get Pheromone, then I can do a Stun and a Confuse onto him, which is always nice to start the day with a bit of Stun and Confusion. Um, she can look at the top card of any of her deck. She also now, because I've played an aspect card, she gets an extra one for thwart, attack and defense. So I can attack for two, which I will do um, for the phase. So she's got plus two, she's got two defense now as well. I could also do five damage now to help me get ready. So I might do that inconspicuous. It's a good card as well though, so. I'm going to use, oh, difficult. I'm going to have a look at over here and see what I want from Clint's hand as well. Goliath, good, but only five damage. And then he will be basically out. So you can get five damage and defend with him, which might be good because he's going to get attacked. So I might get him in. That'll give me double, so it's only two cost to get him in. These are extra hit points for your characters. I'm hoping I don't need them. Um... I need to search for his uh, Hawkeye's bow and add it to my hand by spending one resource. So I'm going to spend one of these team training resources to do it. So I'll find, try and find his bow. Yeah, oh, there's his bow. So he now has his bow out as well. Uh, I need to shuffle these back together. What else we get? We've got five cards now. I can pay for Goliath and get some stuff out, or I can do some attacking with his bow to get rid of three threat. Might be a good idea. Or I can focus more on damage for now and go for a full out attack, which is what I'm thinking because last time I didn't attack enough and I felt like I nearly died. So I'm going to. So these two cards will get me five more damage instead of Spider Woman's only gonna get me two. So that'll take him down to sixteen. 
Um, let's just go out, all out on it. Um, we want to, wouldn't mind getting that out if I can at some point. Need quiver and arrow, double top five, get an arrow event, attach its face up to that card. So, actually, no, get rid of it. Playing four for the Goliath cards. The Goliath can come out. He gets plus four attack until the end of the phase. So, if I do five damage with him, this will knock this guy down to 11. Um, then War Machine can attack for two as well. Which will give him, what would I say, it takes two consequential damage from that. Um, War Machine's Baker's attack gains ranged, so he gets two on that. There's no other things on there, so we get five and two, which is another seven. So that knocks him down to four. You're already really cooking on gas here. <laughs> and in the first turn, we've nearly knocked him off 28 health. Um, with Clint Barton, if I flip him, he's got, he can be exhausted to ready his bow, but I haven't used it yet, I haven't any cards to use this now. So I'm going to attack with him for two. So that was actually a brilliant first round. We've managed to get 26 health off him in one round, which is phenomenal for this team. I'm very happy with that. Um, these can all now be unexhausted, ready to go. Um, Spider Woman will get two if she defends. Goliath might as well defend and then War Machine as well because then I'll get nothing from anyone's stuff and I won't waste a uh, thing. So she's getting five cards now. Self Repel Glide, extra attack, attack team, which gives you six attack overall. Remove T threat and get one card if it's the last. And Piercing Strike for three damage through Tope Status. That's useful. Clint's still got this cable car, arrow card, so he's getting four more. Attach the Avenger ally, max one, and give them give a Vibranium arrow that does six damage and piercing. Earth's Mightiest Hero to exhaust one Avenger and ready another. Oh, I've got that twice again. Brilliant. So we need to now see what we're going to do. So I'm going to defend one of these guys with Goliath and one with more Machine. Uh, I don't need to defend with War Machine, he's just got toughness, so he's not going to get damaged. So he will do his two, plus he will put one resource for my... No, what's it? Oh, so he makes an undefended attack. Discard one resource from my hand. But that's on me, on the hero, so it won't work. Um, and then you play one delay counter on here, so I'm going to use these red counters to differentiate. So we've got six overall on the thing, threat. We've got one delay counter. Okay, when an environment enters play, this card, each other environment card in play. Okay, so this now means it's got six. He goes to. I know he can't. He can't do that because he's got a confused on him. So after the villain is all step one, place the delay counter, but he's not going to do that because he's confused. Step two is attacking. Which he can do, but he can't attack Spider Woman because he is stunned. Um, then he's going to attack Goliath is blocking. So Goliath is going to take two plus one for three, which kills him off, but he was going anyway. Um, and then we've still got Tough on War Machine, which is nice. So we get first player over to Hawkeye. Now we could just kill him here and move him on to the next level, which is most probably what I need to do. Um, War Machine's got three damage on him, so he can attack for two, which kills off level one of Absorbing Man insanely fast. That is what I like to see. And then we're going to do level two. I've got the level three here just so I don't lose it or mix it up somewhere. But that's going to be standard mode level two once we beat this. We are through, so he's up to 30 health now. And it says, Absorbing Man gains a trait of each environment in play. When revealed, if Absorbing Man's power is in play, deal one encounter card to each player. Otherwise, search the encounter deck and discard power for super absorbing power. So yeah, he hasn't got super absorbing power and reveal it, shuffling the encounter deck. So we need to get super absorbing power out for him, which sounds terrible. So we haven't seen that yet. Uh, 
not sure what it is but obviously it's going to be quite good it's a side scheme um it says absorbing man gains the ice metal stone and wood traits and if it's a boost card then you reveal it but it's not so that's got three per player on it so that's got six threat on it so he's got wood ice and other things i was trying to show him assuming will come out of the deck to mess us up so i don't know whether i should try and preempt that or just keep doing what i did before and going for the jugular so let's go for the vibranium arrow first because who doesn't want to do that um also i can do other stuff over here remove two threat i can't get three threat done but i can ready spy the woman so if i thwart for one take one off here do the cable arrow for one that will um then cable arrow for one which then will exhaust the bow and remove three threat from a scheme so i'll take that down to two i then want to use this to thwart to clear the area to help me get rid of some stuff so i'm going to use tech team there to play for that for removing two threat from the scheme which kills it off um if i paid for that and cleared it i get an extra card so she's picked up inconspicuous which is a one cost card that removes a total of three threat from among schemes in play so one cost so that's really good um i can play the upgrades of his attack to re-ready spy the woman who now has two or more oh good i can't keep it um I can then exhaust Hawkeye to give myself the Vibranium Arrow option again. Exhaust him so that his bow comes back up. I don't know why I've got them there. Um, then his bow is ready to use. Then I can use the Vibranium Arrow of two of those to deal six more damage to the main guy, knocking him to 24. So then we've got. Uh, I can't do a lot now with these two. I could remove three threat from the main scheme for one cost, or I can wait and do three damage here. Um, I think I'm going to go for the three damage because I, I'll get two damage or the three threat even because I'm going to get that anyway off here and help me out overall. Then I can attack for two, knocking him to 22. And. Uh, that one's done. These war machine now can also do an attack for uh, two. Just knocks it to 20. And I missed the one extra for the bow from the Vibran arrow that makes it seven. So it should be now to 19 now. So we've started nicely. Um, we're on the hero side. So we are going to get hit by the woman's going to defend she'll get two because she's played some um what are they call some aspect cards war machine's gonna block out for hawkeye and he's got one damage left on him and then we get five cards each so we're getting he's gonna defend he's gonna die soon but we've got the expert marksman thing that gives you one wild resource for arrow events black knight as an ally Power of Leadership that gives you two and another Experimental Marksman for the Arrow events. It does not say that you can't have two of these out at once. So you could get two of those and you could pay for Arrow events and make them free. Which actually is ridiculously good, thinking about it. Um, not sure we need it that much now this far in. But I could potentially use that next round. And then Spider Woman has got uh, Double Strength. Venus, Piercing Strike, self propelled Glide, and Spider-Man. Which is not too bad. Spider-Man gets rid of three threat, which I could put into play with this if I want. He will get to do his double scheme, so that knocks it to three. So I could get Spider-Man in to get rid of that. Um, and then he gets one of the counters on it. 
um, his attack will go on to War Machine, so he's doing two plus nothing. So two, taking away my toughness card. Um, I don't need to block it really, then do I? Um, and then he's going to attack Miss Spider Woman for two plus. Let's boost reveal this card. It's an attachment. It gives him scheme plus one and attack plus one. So he's going to go up to three, but this attack was two. So no damage there. And then we've got our encounter card. So Hawkeye is getting a treachery. Absorbing Man attacks you. If Absorbing Man has the stone trait, he gets plus one attack. So because of the card before that we got rid of, he doesn't have stone at the minute, but he has got three. So he's going to do three plus two, which gives us five. Um, I did not defend because I'm an idiot, but I was, was meant to defend with War Machine, so I'm going to wipe War Machine out. So it's not, um, it's not overkill got on it, so... It's not going to hit Hawkeye, so he's safe-ish. And then we've got one for Spider-Woman. When revealed, discard an upgrade or support you control. If no cards were discarded this way, it gets Surge. I haven't got any upgrades or fingers out yet for her, because I just went full on attack. Um, wrong card. And then, of course, side scheme, Avalanche. When revealed, each player must choose to either spend a si an electric resource or take two indirect damage. Three indirect damage instead if there are five or more delay counters on the main scheme. So... Two per person on that, that's four. This also gives an acceleration token, so more threat. Which can be annoying, but not ridiculous if we can kill him. Um, so either spend a science, not science, an electric resource, or take two indirect damage. Now, haven't got a science resource for Spider Woman. I have some wilds, but I'd rather just take the two damage for both of them. So I can't, it can be indirect, it could be spread, but I'd rather just. Actually, yeah, I'll take one and one and one for this one. As long as the person being attacked gets as much as someone else and doesn't have less than the person they're giving damage to, that's fine. Because what I really want to do is get some of these things out and give myself an upgrade ready for an arrow event, which will cost me one to do and pay. Uh, you can draw toss it. Pay these three to get the Black Knight out. Um, he gets to pierce on his attacks. So that'll be quite nice. Um, and if we can get Spider-Man out, we can take some threat off somewhere. And I could potentially ready. Oh no, I, can't, I can't get enough cards to do it. So it's either get Spider-Man out or do a piercing strike for three damage and try and then also get some other stuff done. Um, piercing strike would cost I, these two would cost two. I could get I could get a free wild resource for an to pay for an aspect card, and yeah, if I pay for it with that, that gives me a free wild. So if I pay for that wild to get a aspect card out, that aspect card being the piercing strike card, then I spend Spider Man to. Uh, to pop the piercing strike on. I think it's a three damage down to 16. Um, and I still have this card to use next round to give Spider Woman a couple of turns. Um, and I also have two attacks over here, so I can do two damage and two damage, so that's four overall, knocking the main guy down to 12 health. So we've absolutely fl flown through this one. And it doesn't look like we're going to need much more to get it finished, hopefully. Um, I need to get some cards for my main man, Clint. Avengers Tower, Sonic Arrow, Electric Arrow, which stuns, which is great. And Mightiest Hero and Mockingbird. She's really good because she can absorb damage and then you can pay a resource to get it back in your hand. So she, I found, is fantastic. Then we've got Pheromones for Spider-Woman. Heroic Intuition and the Heal, which gives you a tough card, and the Venom Blast again. So that's five damage. You're looking at uh, three over there. If I can get him stunned first somehow, I can stun him with one of these cards. Pheromones, maybe. 
then that'll do five as well so that's ten and then we've got the damage there to kill him next round pretty much so we know this guy's going down he's got no chance just depends what he's going to do to us now and how much that's going to affect things so we'll restand these we can stand that finesse it back up so we played an ability spider woman's going to have to defend maybe uh, because that'll be the best thing to do i think if black knight defends for hawkeye then we're sorted we're going to get an extra I think that's we're going to get three onto this location, taking it up to six. And we will get one more delay counter. And then he will attack Hawkeye first for three plus. Oh, I could have spent a uh, well, I could have resource to get rid of that, but this is the power gauntlets after the attached villain attacks and damages you, discard one card from your hand. Uh, but it only gives you two boosts, so it can't attack me. So that gives it four damage. He's dead. Right, sorry, Black Knight, you are gone, but you saved the day. Um, and then we have three plus two. And so Spider Woman has got a two block, so she's taking three damage down to five. Nasty. And then we've got Encounter Card Treachery. Uh, when they're revealed in the hero form, take three indirect damage. Or four if the absorber man has the metal trait, which he does not. Oh, he does. The facility has metal on it, so metal gives me four damage. I'm going to take all four onto Hawkeye because that's his card, and then the next card, hopefully, I will survive with uh, Spider Woman, which is an environment with ice. So once you get a new environment out, you replace it. So it says Surge, so you get another card. I'll deal with it in a second. After Absorbing Man makes an undefended attack against you, place one threat on the main scheme, or two threats if there's five or more delay counters. So if he attacks me and it's not defended, he will get to put extra threat on the main scheme. But that doesn't matter for now. So we've got this card, uh, Treachery, when revealed, reveal your set-aside Nemesis minion and put it into play engaged with you. So Spider-Woman's Nemesis is the Viper. So she's coming into play, that's the metal thing, Viper. Um and put into play, shuffle the rest of the set aside nemesis deck into the um encounter set. So I need to put these in here. Seems a bit of a waste of time because we know this round I'm hopefully going to kill him off. And he'll only have got two delay counters out, which is nice. I think that goes on the on the thing as well. So we go, they are shuffled in. Pretty quickly this goes into um it has been done. If your nemesis does not enter the game this way again, shuffle the rest of the nemesis to count. If your nemesis minion does not enter the game this way, this game it gets surge, but obviously it did. So it's back in the deck in case it comes out for Hawkeye again. Hopefully, then it will be completely, they'll be done and all in anyway. Um, then we change first player token. It says the Vipers engage with you, your hand size is reduced by one. So I'm guessing that means I have to get rid of a card now. Which might be a bit annoying because I need the cards to do this uh, thing. I need to do the Venom Blaster 5 and I need to do the Pheromones for 2. Uh, I don't have any way of doing much else. I can get one cost off it, which would have meant I could have done them both. But now I need to get rid of one of these cards. I'm not going to need that thwart for sure. Uh, I'll pay two cards to get the pheromones out to stun and confuse him. Then I can use one of these and I might need one of Quint's cards. I use the Avengers Tower. He can get rid of that to give me the Venom Blast for five damage, knocking the enemy down to a lowly seven. Uh, then we have Clint's turn to do the electronic arrow, which costs two. We could then just attack for two and kill it. So, yeah, I can play any of these cards. I've played these two cards. Mockingbird and Earth's Mightiest Heroes can be played to do the electric arrow, which exhausts the bow. 
knocking it down to actually I don't even need to do two I could keep her spend one of those to knock it down to two that gives five damage plus the one from the bow to six so it's down to one and then Hawkeye can smash him with a two to win the day victory yeah nice so that is us done for the round let's get the book open and see where we're at okay so we've just won it says in the if you win you can take a, a basic condition card i've taken one for hawkeye that gives him plus three hp and plus one defense which i think he needs because he lacks health and i've taken one hp and one attack for spider woman so she's getting extra damage could take her to a three damage now if she's played an aspect card and it says record the number of delay counters in the main scheme in the campaign log so Delay counters, uh, I don't know where it goes. In our two number of delay counters, we had two. So we smashed through that really quickly. They did really well. I think that's a really good speed to beat him. I think we had a good luck of run, run of luck with the cards. Unlike in the first round where we didn't get any. So next, on to the next bit. And we have a nice double page cartoon here. It says, phew, I'm glad that's done. Truly, that was a glorious battle. Um, hey, what was that? I have no idea. Big red bang. Let's get back to base and find out what's going on. Um, there's the Hydra logo on that building. Uh, uh, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm not sure if that's meant to be Tony Stark's building. They've overtaken it. If you're seeing that Hydra somewhere, somehow stole our tower, then yeah. So Avengers Tower has been taken over by Hydra. And then thumb. We're hit. We're going down. Ha. Boom. No more Avengers. Let's go make sure they're done for, boys. And the next level is where you are now taking on Taskmaster. Um, I like the double page cartoon, but I think that this page would have been nice if it was blocked out or just not on the same page. So you don't accidentally read it. I'm trying not to read it myself or give it away. So I'm trying to cover it up. And next, after you beat Absorber Man, you're taking on Taskmaster in the next one. So I'm going to take that one back to the table on the next video. So that campaign was a riot. We absolutely smashed through his uh, defences and we got a load of damage in the first round. That card that helped us to start with five points actually really helped out. We got 21 points on our own with the cards and then ended up 26 points, nearly killing his first level in one go. That helped us smash through that really quickly. Um, had a good bit of luck with the cards as well, I think. Just nice ones came out for once, which was really nice. Um, if you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed doing it, then please give us a like. Um, put any comments in the comment section if you've got any questions or you see any errors or things I've missed. And then uh, please subscribe to the channel as well if you enjoy what we're doing. Thanks for watching. See you on part three.